Our man Hindash has been very active on TikTok. If you don't know who Hindash is, last year, the start of 2022, I did a video recreating his signature look. He's a fabulous makeup artist and he has been posting so much on TikTok and I have just been saving all of his videos, wanting to recreate all of his techniques. And you know, we love to learn from the best of the best, the makeup pros here on this channel. So I figured why not start another year with doing another Hindash video. So I compiled all of the products, his kind of like, another signature look of his if you will obviously like depending on which video you're watching there's always a little twist something a little bit different but i put together a, a full face here taking from the lovely makeup information that hindash has been pouring out to us and we're gonna do a full face face <laughs> we're gonna do a full face inspired by hindash today so hopefully we will learn something together and uh, create a beautiful look so let us zoom in and yeah, honestly put some makeup on this very tired looking face. I actually really love how Hindash uh, posts his videos on TikTok because he really separates them into nice digestible amounts. Also, he has the most ASMR voice ever. I could fall asleep um, listening to the, the sweet sound of his voice. Anyway, um, I love his skin prep videos and he actually really sticks to a routine. He does like a spray, a hyaluronic acid, face cream, cream, face cream eye cream, cream. And so I wanted to obviously copy that today. So let's start with a spray. We're gonna be using the Tata Harper Hydrating Floral Essence. This is one that he has used. So let us don the mist. I've also already done my brows just to simplify this process. I had a fresh bottle of this, so that was perfect. Another one he likes to use is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir, but he just always starts the skin with a little spray. He also uses the Cryo Tools, which I don't have. But if you wanted to do a little ice massage, do that now. Okay, then he goes in with a hyaluronic acid. Again, he uses like kind of a different one every single video, but he always says like, then I go in with my hyaluronic acid. So guys, haven't used this in a minute. I picked up a fresh bottle of the Vichy Mineral 89. Look at how beautiful. Honestly, I need to just add this back into my life fully in general. It has been too long. So we're just gonna rub that. Oh, my skin is so dry. Oh my gosh, I've been so dry, you guys. I've I've been getting nosebleeds again. Wow. Back in the day when I was growing up in good old Alberta and the very dry, cold lands of Canada, I used to like get nosebleeds every day. <laughs> I know, sorry, TMI. But whenever I get a nosebleed, I'm like, ooh, I'm extra, extra dry because it only happens when my body is like void of all hydration. So, ooh, that hyaluronic acid is so needed right now. Feels so good on the skin. Then let's go in with eye cream. I'm gonna use the Caudalie Resveratrol Lift eye cream. This is my favorite eye cream. I've never truly been consistent with eye creams until using this. And I'm just gonna add in the little Caudalie trick where we put it under the eyes and then also around the mouth and the ears. Caudalie told us so, therefore we must. <laughs> Will I age? Probably not if I'm doing that tip. <laughs> Okay, eye cream sorted, then let's go in with the face cream. Love to see that he used the Embroilis Le... Le Someday I'll get it. Le Creme Concentre. Got a fresh bottle. <laughs> fresh bottle of this, another product that we have used for a long, long time here on this channel and love to see a fresh tube. So I'm gonna take that and rub it all in and our skin is gonna be, oh my, oh my God. Ah, that feels so good. I'm gonna turn really red for a sec here. Don't mind that, but I'm just gonna give myself a little uh, wake up massage. I've been experiencing a lot of lockjaw lately. It's very concerning to me. I just wake up in the morning and I'm like, mm, I can't open up my mouth. So I'm trying to just really like get in there. <laughs> Now the final step in our skin prep is the lips, obviously, and I got this cutie little mini lip mask in one of the Tatcha holiday sets. How cute is that? This is the Kisu lip mask. How cute. You guys, this lip mask formula is unlike any texture that I have ever, oh, could you see that goop? Here, I'll show you my eyebrow, can you see the goop? Unlike any texture I've ever experienced, it is so lush, oh my God. I love that this is a mini, but like, there's so much product in there. It's a little pain in the butt to get this open. If your hands are like wet at all, there's like a little click on many of the Tatcha products and it's really hard to open sometimes, but whoa damn, that lip mask. Okay, we are all prepped, we are hydrated, our skin is looking juicy. Let's get into the makeup. There's been a few videos where Hindash has used the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I do not have a tan on today, so I'm going with the shade two. Normally if I've got a little 
got a little tan going on, I'll use shade four, but he applies this with a brush. And I love to apply this foundation with a beauty blender. So we're gonna do it the Hindash way and apply this with a brush. I'm just grabbing my little It Cosmetics number seven brush here. I haven't used this brush in a minute. Um, I'm grabbing this because it's much larger and much softer than my usual foundation brushes. And I just really wanna paint this on lightly. Now, sometimes he'll go straight in with like contour and concealer, but I do have a lot of redness. So I really wanna even out the skin tone. And he typically does that when he wants a more flawless base. So he doesn't always, it kind of obviously just depends on the person whom he is applying makeup onto, but definitely starting with foundation. And this appears to be one of uh, his favorites and go-tos and we share that favorite. So love to see the fave products being used. So just doing a light little base of that all around. I'm also gonna take it down my neck because I am constantly itching my neck because I'm allergic to many things, but my cat is one of them. And I'm just constantly, if I cuddle her, I'm like <laughs> scratching at my neck. So my neck is always, <laughs> it's always red, my God. If the neck is exposed, you gotta take the foundation down there to make sure that it all matches. So we're gonna do a nice layer of this. I stand by what I said. I do prefer this applied with a beauty blender. I just feel like it blends it in so much more nicely. It obviously depends on the foundation, but when a foundation is creamier, more thick, less watery, I just prefer it with a beauty sponge. So I might just, you know. Now, like I've already mentioned, depending on which video you're watching will depend on like the sequence of events that he does. Um, I'm gonna reference this specific one where he talks about his carve shade. This is the color fluid in the shade carve. And he has this one specific video where he recreated the image from his campaign and he was applying this in the most succulent, magical way. And it looks like the foundation and the concealer were already done. Sometimes he does this and then concealer, but I kind of wanna copy that map he did. So I'm actually going to do this after concealer. And he doesn't always specify the concealer that he's using. So I've just really been enjoying the Dior backstage concealers lately. Ooh, there's, that's gross, sorry. It's been in my makeup bag. <laughs> it's a clear favorite. Anyway, the Dior Backstage Concealer. I have one N and two N, um, just because I don't have my little tan going. I wasn't sure if I could still use two N right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of perfecting with the concealer and do it in the very light manner that he does. I love that this concealer has a little paintbrush so you can really nicely just pinpoint where you want it to go. I've actually got quite a lot of like active breakouts on my skin right now, so I'm gonna go in with with a good amount of this just to do some perfecting. So giving this a little paint on the skin, adding that layer to just really add the coverage that we're looking for. If I need to go in and spot conceal after I will, but for now I'm going to gently blend this in with my Morphe Ariel brush. Love this brush so much. And we're just gonna pat, 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 pat this concealer in. Gonna leave it there for now. We've blended out that layer. If I need to do some touch-ups, we will later, but let's go into the shade Carve. Was really excited when I saw this. I think I'm just gonna use Carve because the color's like pretty nice for me and my pale skin, but he's also got the shade Thorn, which he mixes in on deeper skin tones if you wanted to do some carving. And I just love what he did. He took this all over the face, around the lips, on the eyes. We're just gonna try and do the Hindash method with the shade Carve. So I'm taking a very clean Refero 4 brush, and this one's just a little bit softer. He was actually using quite a fluffy, soft brush when applying this. So I'm going to use that and just contour the entire face. I love any product that comes out that is multi-use, very versatile. I think it's very exciting because you can use them all over. I've actually been keeping this shade Carve in my everyday makeup drawer because it's beautiful for contour, but it's also a really nice eyeshadow as well. It is a little bit matte. He does use them on the lips too, but I think just because I'm so dry, it was a little bit too matte for my liking. Um, but if you don't struggle with that as much as I do and you like a much more matte look, I mean, the color is really nice. I really like this color. So uh, yeah, it really blends out so beautifully on the skin. And for my skin tone, this, this shade in particular just makes a very beautiful, very natural color. The one thing I will say, oh my God, sorry, my hair is getting <laughs> all over the place. It does dry down 
really quickly. That's my only complaint, like as someone uh, who's very slow with the blending <laughs> or just like makes a lot of mistakes, I would like a little bit more play time, if you will. Uh, so just note, if you're using this, work quickly. <laughs> so then using a smaller brush, he also takes that all over the eyes as an eyeshadow base, which I love so much. And this has been how I've been using it the most. So just literally blending that all over, all into the crease. And then from here, he also takes it down the nose. So I'm just gonna do a quick little base of this and kind of blend it into the rest of the face. And then he just goes right in, like right down the nose, which you guys know. <laughs> I struggle with the nose contour so much. I have quite a, a bony, knobbly nose, so this is always interesting. But just give me a minute. Give me a minute here. We're gonna try to do it. So he literally like goes straight from the eyelid, across the brow, and then down the nose bone. <laughs> so I'm just blending that right, right into the brow. Yeah, I just have these like two bones that stick out here, and it's just like, it's just always crooked for me. I just don't have a straight nose, so. Um, this is always interesting. We might have to just fix this up a little bit after with concealer. He goes across, does a little hugging of the, you know, this just looks, this is intense. Yep. <laughs> the idea was nice. <laughs> my nose literally, like it's at a complete slant. Whenever I do this, I'm like, damn, my nose be crooked. <laughs> We're gonna touch it up with concealer in a second, just give it a minute. But one thing that I really loved from this video too is that he took the same contour and did the lips. He just fully like went onto the lips and was like, I doubled her lip volume by doing this. And I was like, we love that. Haven't had my lips done in a hot minute. They're looking real, real small, real small. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. He just took the contour and applied it ooh, right there and just kind of went outside the line on the upper and the lower lip. I've seen a lot of people do this. There's that one chick who was popping off on TikTok for a while who just like <laughs> rubbed her contour all over the lips. That was a little bit extreme, but we can appreciate her commitment to the contour, okay? I kind of love this. It gives it gives me like very edgy model-y vibes, like just doing this and applying the cream contour all over. Look at how matte, like see, it dries down so, so matte and like very long lasting. So again, for an eyeshadow base, it's perfect, but it can be a little bit intense on the lips if you're using it for lipstick. So that's the contour applied. I like it. We need to fiddle with the nose here a little bit. So I'm just gonna go back in with the concealer and I'm just gonna add a little bit more in the areas that need it. I'm just so red here. Essentially just redoing the concealer. So technically now that we've done this, I realize we could have just done the concealer after, but there's nothing wrong with layers. So how are we looking everybody? How are we feeling about this contour? Let's go in with the blush. This is the same color fluid product from Hindash, but this is the shade Heartist. And I've already used this before as a liquid blush, another very beautiful matte product. So I'm gonna try to blend this out swiftly. I'm just gonna use that same brush that we applied the contour with. And I'm gonna start with really, really light layers because this is a very pigmented product. So I'm just taking that softly kissing the cheekbones and just kind of blending that on top of the contour and giving a lovely little little hint and flush of color to the face. So we're gonna leave the face for now. Let's move on to the eyes. I actually picked up a few more products from Hindash, from his line, and they are sold at Beautylish. And I love, I love Beautylish. Their shipping to Canada is so fast and amazing. And you know, I've just been loving the Hindash palette so much. They were my top eyeshadow palette. If you watch my beauty favorites from last year, they're just so good. And so I was actually really excited to try his other products. Um, one of the color fluids that I didn't actually have was the shade Boy Tears, and this is his shimmery color fluid, and I was like, oh my god, I can't wait to rub that all over my eyeballs. Um, but he also has the Intra Eye Tone Pencil, and he's just got one shade of this. I also picked up the lip pencil, and I got his Hero Line Eyeliner. We'll see, we might not dabble with this today, we'll see how we're feeling, we'll see how it goes, but love me a brown liner. And he was actually the reason why we tried uh, the, Nar mm, I'm blanking on the name of it, but the NARS eyeliner that he loved and adored. So my assumption is that this is made with his love for that. Was it Mamba? Mambo, Mamba. Apparently the one he loved no longer exists. Anyway, so uh, obviously I love a brown eyeliner no matter what. So if it's Hindash's brown liner, 
you know it's gonna be amazing. So I have high hopes for this. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this. And he loves a little lash line moment. The one thing I will say actually on the videos where he obviously isn't using his carved shade all over the eyes, he often uses a tinted eyeshadow base. So just know I would have done that if we hadn't done this carve. Maybe we can use a little bit after, we'll see. But anyway, for now I'm just taking a little shader brush and just smudging this out. Maybe we'll do a little moment into the crease. So yeah, I'm just gonna take that same shade and buff it into the crease with my shader brush. This is blending out so beautifully in comparison to like the Wayne Goss Rich Hazel that I've been using a lot lately. This one's just a little bit warmer. The Wayne Goss is more of that like gray toned brown, which I actually really love. Uh, but this one's a little bit warmer, which is really nice. It's not as warm as like a MAC Costa Riche, but so far what I'm seeing, it's looking just a little bit in between. Really beautiful color and blending out so easily. I'm trying to be really slow and deliberate with my blending here to make sure that I don't get any lines because sometimes if I just flail a little bit too hard, I've got really wrinkly <laughs> eyelids. I got, a little, I got a lot of loose skin up there. So if I blend too quickly, I always get those little lines. So I'm trying to be very slow and intentional with my blending here and just going between my shadow brush and then also a clean, no longer clean, but was clean blending brush and just uh, making sure that it's nice and soft. Uh, one piece of feedback on this eyeliner, it's almost like so easy to blend that it's, it's literally just disappearing. So it's really not staying where I'm putting it. Like I do one soft little blend and it's just kind of wisping away, which is not necessarily a bad thing if you love a super natural look, but if you're trying to get any pigment with this, it's almost hard. But <laughs> for me personally, I love that. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can do the same on the other side. See you in a minute. All right, taking a little bit of that same liner and just putting it onto the lower lash line. I'm going really, really softly with this. I just want a tiny little bit, taking the same shader brush and just blending that along. Can you guys tell why I love Hindash so much? This is literally the same makeup that I always do, but love to try new products, see what can be improved. And there's always a little tweak here or there, so it's nice, it's nice to just get tiny little subtle tweaks and improvements to your everyday makeup, you know? Overall, love that color. It's a very, very nice soft brown. So then he goes in and sets, sets it with his palette. So I'm just gonna use this little brown here. <laughs> Press that on top of the liner. I think a very, very creamy liner like this will definitely need some kind of setting from an eyeshadow. Okay, and then I thought this was fun, taking some of this lighter shade and just patting that into the center of the eye. Maybe he actually did this on top of the eyeshadow base, but that's okay. We'll just do a little bit to brighten up in here and set the inner bit of the eyelid. I actually kind of love that effect. It's a little bit messy. We could clean it up and do this with a brush. Let's just, let's just go ahead and, and use a brush for this. Just brightening up this eyelid area. Shall we do the black? Ah! I'm scared, but I love this packaging. It's like this lovely fluted metal. So satisfying, so beautiful to behold. I feel like we just have to do it for science, for science. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I literally did like three different directions there. Oh! Really pigmented, wow. Super soft, very easy to apply. Uh, must be very precise. I always wing my liner up. It always has a curve up, it's so embarrassing. Hindash, don't look. It was really bold of me to do my first studio video back and try a black liner. <laughs> that was cute that I thought this could happen today. It was cute. We did, we did try our best here. Just try to blend away as much as you can. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna grab a small little brush and the black shadow from the Beautopsy palette. Actually, I'm not going quite into the black. I'm gonna go like right in the middle of this little ombre gradient moment. And I'm just gonna pat that on top of the liner just to soften it a bit. Whenever my liner is not perfect, which is 
literally always just take a little a little something a little dark brown a little black shadow and just soften it up and that'll kind of help to like blend the black into the lash line as well if you are a black liquid liner wearer that was a lovely one <laughs> lovely one to try time for boy tears i kind of like i don't want to ruin this i actually really love how matte it looks but i feel like we have to try the boy tears this lovely shiny sparkly color fluid so i'm taking that with my finger and i'm gonna pat that on top woo, woo. stunning i love this color it's kind of like a pinky champagne a lot of the colors i usually use for this are either like gold or silver but this is like yeah a little touch of pinkiness in there we love also not as like glittery it's kind of more creamy i thought it would have more glitter honestly but it's actually like quite just a solid cream eyeshadow so i just need to take my brush and smudge that over a little bit. So yeah, definitely not a replacement for my like sparkly glitter toppers. There is a little bit of glitter there, but it's just not as PC. Does that make sense? Super soft, super subtle. I don't know how I feel about that. It's kind of, it's kind of meh. Gonna use mascara. This is the Estee Lauder smudge proof mascara. Oh my gosh, it's getting so clumpy. Oh my God. Oh my God, does that mean it's dead? <gasps> Look at how comfy that is. What the heck? Oh my God, I've been using this mascara every day. Oh no! Oh no. <laughs> I've only had it for like a month, but to be fair, it is literally the only mascara that I have ever used that's actually zero smudging, zero raccoon eyes. So that's fine. I will happily repurchase because it's magic for me in my blinking ways. Okay, I'm just gonna clean up the under eyes a little bit. I've got just a tiny little bit of fallout. Just a little bit, just give it a little touch. And then I'm going to use the Givenchy powder, triangle puffy puffs, and set this under eye, these under eyes. <laughs> I'm just giving my brows a little touch up with the Benefit Fluff Up Brow Wax. I hadn't actually set them in and they were flailing a little bit. So let's get them, let's get them up. <laughs> Going back to the face for a sec, he often uses the Dior palette for highlight. And I haven't used this in a minute. I'm just gonna mix these two little light shades together and let's do a little touch of glow on the cheeks. I feel like we've lost our blush color a little bit but I also think sometimes I just need to chill <laughs> and just accept this lovely contoured moment and not go too overboard with the blush. So we'll just enjoy this glow. Just a little touch of that on the inner corners as well. And then for lips, let's use the Hindash. I can't, I literally can't remember this. I've just tried to do that 5,000 times. Hush Lip Tone Pencil. I don't, like, do we just go on top of this contour? Like, I don't, I don't really know. In the contour video, he just left this alone, but I'm curious to see what this is gonna look like all mixed together. In the one video, he actually used the eyeliner as a lip liner, which is cool. It looked really nice. You guys know how I feel about lip liners. Honestly, like, find the shade you like. <laughs> I'm just like obsessed. I'm obsessed with the NYX ones. So I just wanted to try this to follow along with his tutorial, but this like feels exactly the same, unless you like really specifically wanted a color. This is just like, just like any other lip pencil, but we're trying it for the sake of following the Hindash way today. Yeah, I kind of love the contour underneath this. I think it looks really nice. So as a final step on the lips, I'm gonna take Carve and Hardest and just mix them together and do a little dot on the lips. So I'm literally just mixing the two here. And he did that and just applied it to the center of the lips. I'm gonna do that really softly because again, this is quite matte on the lips. What do we think? What do we think of the color? Now this one's just for me, going with my Benefit Professional Spray to set it all in. And that, my friends, is the finished makeup look. What do we think? I actually think it turned out so nicely. For me to enjoy makeup, in this lighting, it has to be really good, you know? And I actually think that this is, even though it's like quite smoky and I'm clearly wearing like a soft glam makeup look, I do think it actually looks really soft and natural. I love how multi-use so many of his products are and a few little fun tips in there. So 
obviously like love how the makeup look turned out would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below if you guys are a follower of Hindash let us just share in the love and the delight that is uh his his makeup technique and his products and just himself he's another makeup artist that I just learned so much from and I just love to do these kinds of videos so I'd love to hear from you guys let me know if there are any other makeup artists any of their looks their signature looks that you want me to recreate I hope you enjoyed today's look and I'll see you all very soon for a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.